Justice. All right, we've been listening to our local affiliate, WCBS, giving us the latest reporting on the helicopter crash on the roof of a building here in Midtown Manhattan. One person is confirmed dead, the pilot. Right now, CBS News national correspondent Jerika Duncan joins us. She is near the scene. Jerika, we're hearing that there may be a press conference soon. Are you hearing the same? We understand that to be true. I was just inside the Manhattan Times Square Hotel where I just walked by, uh, saw Mil Mayor Bill de Blasio go in with several other officials. I imagine they are getting briefed at this time so that they can then give a news conference. But just to give you a different vantage point, we're here closer to 52nd and 7th, and they just set up these barricades here to sort of keep us away from this building. As Meg Oliver mentioned, over 50 floors. And when you look up to the sky, you can't tell whether you're seeing a little bit of smoke at times or if it's just the fog, uh, especially when we just got here, now looking more like fog. Um, but there's so many questions about what was this person doing flying at this particular time. When you look at the conditions, it's rainy, it's foggy, it's hard to see, but it's our understanding, again, that there was some sort of distress call. So he knew that he was uh, in need of help and, I guess, landed here on this building. But right now, it is extremely hard to get a, a full vantage point. When we first got here, we were sort of walking around through and asking people what they heard, what they saw, what they witnessed. And many people said the same thing. You know, you look up and you don't see much but fog and even reports of people who were uh, further away and in some of these higher buildings and also couldn't see exactly what happened. So we're standing by waiting for more information. As I just said to you, within the last 15 minutes, Mayor Bill de Blasio walking into the Times Square Manhattan Hotel with a number of other officials who are likely getting briefed at this hour. Uh, we're hoping, of course, to learn more information as we get it, but it appears, uh, as we've reported on our local station and then now here, uh, that there is one fatality. And Jerika, do you get the sense that more buildings are continuing to be evacuated or that they have stopped evacuating buildings and the scene has stopped growing at this point? I'm going to see if Fred can bring his camera a little bit closer just to give you another vantage point. So there's the Sheridan here, the Sheridan, New York. You see a bunch of people outside of that hotel. Um, my understanding is they are still evacuating some of these buildings, at least nearby, because uh, we're not sure, you know, in terms of the structure, if there are any concerns. And the Sheridan, if you kind of look up, Fred, if you go up, you can see it's basically right next to the building uh, where this helicopter apparently landed. So, uh, you know, it's FDNY, it's NYPD. They're going to take extra precaution when it comes to this type of stuff, as you just heard with Gover Governor Cuomo talking about some of the uh, events, obviously, with 9-11 that have taken place. This is something that they take very seriously. We're hearing people right now saying, let's go, let's go. So I'm not sure if they're asking us to move. I'm just trying to get a better sense of what's going on. Um, but it is our understanding that people were being evacuated. I know people in this hotel were also being told to come downstairs in the lobby. Some folks said that they were told they couldn't go back to their rooms at this hour. Uh, the hotel being across the street from the building, uh, that is a concern. So it looks like we're being moved back. Uh, Tanya, I'm going to send it back into you because I'm not exactly sure what's, what's going on right now. All right, Sharika Duncan, thank you so much for that. As you can see there, Sharika Duncan, our CBS News correspondent, they're on the scene. It looks like press and onlookers are being asked to move away.